well, I'm on what's probably a bit of a wild goose chase. A great grey shrike has turned up at our Waltham Brooks nature reserve. So in some ways it's a bit of a twitch, I want to go and see it, but the chance to see a shrike on one of our reserves is really a bit special. Now, I've been to see shrikes lots of times and I always fail. I've uh, only seen one once in Britain and that was actually just completely by chance at our Mauling Down Reserve. But this morning I'm quite hopeful because uh, not only was it seen yesterday, but another one turned up, so there are actually two there. Well, I've just turned up here at Waltham and there's a few bird watchers here and true to form, nobody's seen the shrike this morning. And then I was just about to sort of walk off and have a little uh, trot around the reserve and suddenly bang, they found it. Well, there he is posing quite nicely on the top of the tree. There's now a suddenly a sort of group of about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or other bird watchers all come to have a look. It's caused quite a stir. But it's lovely to see a bird like this on one of our reserves. Great grey shrikes are pretty rare. Um, one or two turn up in Sussex every year, every winter they come over from Scandinavia or Eastern Europe and you know they're escaping the frost and they come over here. But uh, it's really nice to have one on our reserves but I think shrikes are particularly exciting because although they're songbirds they're in the same group as thrushes and blue tits and finches and things like that. They're also kind of birds of prey and it's interesting how uh, all the other small birds mob them as though it's their kestrels or sparrowhawks or something. They know that they're birds of prey, even though shrikes are quite small themselves. I don't know if it's the, the hooked bill, they've got a slightly hooked bill, or maybe it's just the way that they're sitting. Maybe it's just because they're so bold sitting out on the top of a bush. They seem to know that they're possibly in danger. I haven't been to Waltham Brooks for ages and it's really nice to come back. And it's looking particularly good because it's quite flooded. And on the flooded bits there are, there are quite a few ducks lurking in there. The rushes and the sedges and so on. Well, that's it I reckon. Shame didn't get a slightly nicer view, but never mind. If a shrike's going to take all the trouble to turn up on one of our nature reserves, it just seems a bit impolite not to go and say hello. You know, it's just occurred to me, since I'm here anyway, that years and years and years ago, I once sat with my back to this tree here. I was just sitting in that little hollow there and I was sitting there for about five or ten minutes, dead quiet, dead still. And then suddenly a weasel turned up and he was rooting around in the leaf litter um, and he kept coming closer and closer and came right up to my feet and then came up with a vole right in front of me. And it's just reminded me that instead of sort of rushing around looking for great grey shrikes and chasing after things, often it's a lot better just to stay quite still and let the wildlife come to you.